Hello everybody, I'm Robert. I'm the CEO and co-founder here at Cloud Sigma. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up a networking policy and apply that to one or more servers. And you can use that to secure your networking, uh, your public networking into the cloud. Um, so we definitely recommend it for customers. Um, so let's go in and have a look. I'm in the dashboard here right now. Um, you can see I have some servers here. What I'm gonna do is um, I'm actually gonna secure this one here called Tutorial. Um, it's a server I created earlier. And you'll see here that it has two networks available. Uh, it's got a private network and it's got a public network. So in this scenario, we can pretend that this is gonna be something like a gateway server into a wider infrastructure setup. So what we wanna do is apply a networking policy to this IP interface here and um, this networking card so that we can um, secure that. And so we can go into um, the networking and then policies. And you can see here, I've created a couple of policies already. And so I'll, I'll use an existing policy, but we can easily go and create a new one here. Uh, and then you can see that you get something like a IP tables type interface. So we'll go in and I'll show you uh, one that I've already set up. So this is a very basic one called office access only. And what that does is designed to um, only allow traffic from a specific IP to a specific IP. So you would use this, for example, if you wanted to put some corporate um, systems in the cloud, and then maybe there's absolutely no use case for anybody accessing those systems outside of the office or the range of IPs of your office. So that's kind of the scenario. So as I said, the way it works is you set up rules and those rules are done in a sort of IP tables type interface. So what you can do is you can select whether you want to accept or drop traffic, whether it's inbound, outbound, the type of traffic, and then you can select source and destination IP ranges. And of course, give it a comment so you understand what's, what role it's meant to be doing. So what you do is you layer up those rules and the order matters so that you can secure that. So I'll show you how I've done that for this particular use case. So the first thing you'll see is that this is the static IP of the server in the cloud. So what this says is accept traffic in both directions any protocol coming from that specific IP address going to, um, which is the cloud server, going to um, this IP, which is actually the office IP. And that's why it's redacted. So that's actually the cloud server office IP. So um, I've not really l locked it down to any specific port, but you could go ahead and do that as well if there was, again, a um, specific use case. And of course, the more um, granular you are and the more targeted you are, the more secure the setup that you've created. And then the second rule, so what happens is the traffic flows in and it, it flows through all these rules. So if it hits a rule, it, it's the order matters. So this it, rule would allow that traffic to come out from the cloud server to the, to the office. Now, the second rule is basically the same thing in reverse. What that says is, oh, allow all the traffic that's emanating from this IP address or this IP range actually, uh, slash 24 range, and then allow that to get through to the, um, to the cloud server. So that's allowing bi-directional traffic. And then the final rule, which is very important, is that if the traffic doesn't meet either of these um, requirements, simply drop everything. And that, that's basically essentially blocking the entire world except for those two IP ranges in, in and out. So that's a very simple uh, networking policy, but it also allows you to uh, very, uh, very in a very granular way secure the traffic. So. You can, of course, do other things around ports. I have another policy called web servers, and this is uh, setting up um, TCP traffic over a specific port, in fact, um, to allow that. And you can, you can go ahead and do that as well. So now we've got the networking policy created. Let's go in and apply it to a server. So let's go back to our tutorial server. We go to the network, and you remember I was talking about this IP and this networking interface before. We simply go in and edit it. And then we can say, okay, please apply the office only access. And then I save that. So as you can see, the um, now we've saved it, you've got the IP address, the static IP, the public static IP address, and it's applied the office only access. So now at the hypervisor level, before traffic ever reaches that virtual machine, it's gonna filter out everything except the traffic between those two IP ranges. So that's how you can really simply and easily set up networking policies in Cloud Sigma. And the great thing is that you get to define them. You can have multiple policies so you can really secure your um, networking 
uh, from a public uh, exposure perspective. And so we very much encourage all customers to take the time to, to do that. And as ever, we have 24 seven support available um, and they can uh, support you in any uh, requirements that you might have in terms of getting those uh, policies defined and set up.